Hello everyone and welcome back to video 3 of this Python Selenium tutorial series. What we're going to be doing in this shorter video is just working with page navigation. So how can we get to specific pages by clicking on links? How can we click on buttons? And then how can we go back to the original page that we started on? So, you know, going back, going forward, like the back arrow, the for forward arrow, how do we trigger those events? These are pretty simple. Uh, and then in later videos, we'll get into some more complex stuff. I think in video five, we're actually going to do the unit test framework where we talk about the classes uh, and how to set up the actual automated test, because this isn't really a test. This is more of just a script right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is use my website again to demonstrate this. And what I want to do on the website is actually navigate from the home page. So let's go back there into beginner Python tutorials. So I want to find a way where I can go through a bunch of different links. So I want to click Python programming. And then after I click Python programming, once this loads, I want to click beginner Python programming. And then what I actually want to do after I do that, once this loads up is click on the get started button. So essentially I want to find a way so we can navigate into a tutorial series and then a way to actually do what I just did. So back all the way out. So let's do that. So what the first thing I'm going to do is I actually don't even need to inspect element for this beginning part because there's a fancy thing in Selenium called, and I'm just going to type it out here. I will say link equals driver dot get not get find element by where is it link text. So find element by link text. What this does is allow us to type the like the text that would show up for a link uh, and then actually access the element from that. So in this case, that link or that li item on, on the side here, let's find this uh, so I can show you simply by having Python programming here, we can access this little check mark thing on the side and actually click it to move to the next page. So to do that, we say link equals driver dot find element by link text. And then we simply do link dot click like that. So if we run this now for Selenium, we'll see, give it a second, load the main page, and then it loads and goes to Python programming. So that actually works. That clicks that link. Now we need to find a way to click on this link. So beginner Python tutorials. But remember that when we go to a new page, we need to make sure we're waiting uh, for the element to exist before we can click on it. So in this case, it worked fine uh, after we loaded the page, but sometimes uh, the page loads in a weird way where we need to make sure that that element exists before we try to click it. So we're going to implement that same weight stuff that we have before. I'm just going to put that in there. Uh, but the weight text, I have it on my other side of my screen just so I can copy in some of the imports is this. So we have from selenium .by, support UI import all this. So that's what we need. And then I'm literally just going to copy paste that weight code in again, because it is kind of a handful to type out uh, off the top of my head. So then we'll have here, try element equals web driver driver 10 until again, what this is doing is saying the element we're looking for is equal to the web driver weight, which means we're going to wait for up to 10 seconds for the driver to find an element present on the page that has the ID of X, right? Now, in this case, we can't have it dot by ID. We need to have it by, in this case, gonna be link text. And then here we'll paste in the beginner Python tutorial. So take that here, paste it in, and we could reduce this delay if we want. What's gonna happen is say we wait more than 10 seconds, it will just time out and it'll crash the program or it will, it will just quit, I guess, actually. Uh, but that's what this delay is doing. So we have that EC dot presence of element. That's fine. Beginner Python tutorials. Then we should say elements dot click. So we go to the next page and we'll make this an accept because I actually don't want it to quit unless this doesn't work. So let's run this and let's see if we get some better luck this time. All right. So wait, waiting for it to go to the next page. I should have picked a faster website for this tutorial. Mine is just so slow sometimes. And there we go. All right. So now we're here. Although it doesn't look like we pressed on the beginner Python tutorials. Oh, there we go. So there we go. So it actually did load up. It was just taking a fair amount of time to get us there. So it actually loads us in here to beginner Python tutorials. I promise I didn't click that. It just was lagging. And now we have this button that we're going to have to look at what its ID is so that we can click it. So let's zoom in here, inspect. This is a, actually a, so this is an href. Uh, and how are we going to be able to access this? So this has an ID. SOW button, some random integers. So let's copy that. There we go. And now I'll close this window because this is the Selenium one. And inside of here now, we'll look for that button, which is going to involve this same kind of weight process. So let's take all this 
and let's put this here and I guess we can leave it called element that's not really gonna be a big issue by link text no this time it's gonna be by ID we're gonna copy the ID and then put the ID inside of here like that and then we'll say element dot click all right so let's run this I think I've done everything correctly and wait and see what happens all right so loads goes to the next page gives us a second all right it goes to the beginner python tutorials hits the get started button and there we go now we are on this page so already i think that's pretty cool that we can navigate all the way through the pages like that and then obviously this is the introduction to my beginner python programming tutorials now assuming that um i guess not doesn't work but after we do that what we actually want to do now is go all the way back to the home page so what I can do to do that is literally just do driver dot back. Now dot back just goes back to the previous page. It's actually pretty cool um, that we can just do that. So I'll do that three times and now let's run this and let's see if we go all the way there and all the way back. So give it a second. This is the longest part of the video, just waiting for the website to actually load. So Python programming, beginner Python tutorials. All right. And boom, there we go. We're all the way back at the beginning. The reason it's much faster on the way back is because the page is already cached, right? So there we go. So that works. Uh, and that is kind of the basics of like navigating pages. Now there also is this thing driver dot forward. So if I decide to do that, like I can go back three and then I could go, actually, I shouldn't have done that and go driver dot forward again and go back to that original page. So let's just do this. We'll go back three and then forward two, and I'll show you how that works. And then I think there was one more thing I wanted to show you, uh, but for now we might be okay. So there we go. There we go. Go to the overview and then get in and back, back, back or forward, forward, right? So now we're back here on this get started page and that is the basics of how that works. So that's to go back. That's to go forward. Pretty straightforward. Clicking something is dot click. You can click almost any element, but I think it has to be like a link or a button or something that is clickable, obviously. And I just want to show you one thing that I forgot to say in the previous video is when you're accessing a text field. So say we're accessing like the search bar, right? What we want to do before we access it typically is clear it. So there's actually a method. So let's say that this element was the search bar that we found. We could do element dot clear and dot clear will just clear all of the text that's already inside that input field to make sure that it's empty. So when we send keys to it, it will uh, have those keys not append the keys on it because the way that send keys actually works is let's say the search field already has hello in it and we send another hello it'll append hello it won't replace hello so that was just something i wanted to say because i forgot to do it last time but yeah that's pretty much been this video that's how you navigate pages that's how you click on links i mean this is a technically a link but it was like labeled as a button works the same way if it was a button you would just do click access it by id and that has been this video so if you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next selenium python tutorial